Camp John Hay was established on October 25, 1903 after President Theodore Roosevelt signed an executive order setting aside 535 acres in Benguet for a military reservation under the United States Army. The camp was named after John Milton Hay. It is a name that is associated with writing and diplomacy. A multi-talented writer, Hay was a journalist, novelist, and composer who gained renown as a poet and historian. John Hay is also remembered for his skillful steering of foreign policy as Secretary of State when the United States became a world power. He is best known for the open-door policy that guided the conduct of nations. 7,000 miles away, in a small city called Baguio, John Hay is a name that lives on in a former American military base named in his honor shortly after he dies. Over the years, Camp John Hay has become a name that evokes pleasant memories for the people who have visited this mountain resort. They associate the name John Hay not so much with the man he was but with fond memories they take home when they leave. Destiny did not see fit to have the man set foot on the camp that helps perpetuate his name and memory, yet in a manner that only Destiny can fashion, the man who served his military stint away from the battlefield and who answered the call of the muses rather than the call of the bugle horn lent his name to a military reservation that has had a bloodless our history as that of the man. Camp John Hay was the favorite project of Major General Franklin Bell, who became very enthusiastic about Baguio. When he became the commanding general of the Philippine Department, he had construction begun on a series of cement buildings on the military reservation and personally designed and supervised the construction of an open-air amphitheater in a semi-circular valley just below the house of the commanding general. The Bell Amphitheater was completed in 1914 and the Bell House in 1913. Recognizing this, its new stewards have chosen to keep the old name, Camp John Hay. With that choice come the challenges to give the camp the same judicious care all its stewards have given it in the last 11 decades. As the most enduring image of Baguio, Camp John Hay engenders a protectiveness many Baguio residents show for no other place in the city, save perhaps for the city itself. Camp John Hay embodies the lure that has kept faith with the role of destiny charted for it and the city. Beyond that, it has come to represent the commitment of a community and government corporations joining hands to preserve Camp John Hay as environmental sanctuary, a historical landmark, and an eco-tourist destination. In that way, Camp John Hay honors not only the man whose name it carries, but also those who left in our care an inheritance and a responsibility to make this a legacy which future generations can enjoy, appreciate, and treasure.